good morning. Today is pretty much our final day here, so day 10. Um, tomorrow we leave to go back to America um, in the morning, so we'll be up at like 6.30. It's probably about a good time to make sure that we kind of make our bus to the train to the airport. And so we are making our way over to the Hong, Hong Kong Wetland Park right now. Um, I hope the weather holds out, but particularly because we have to pay to get into this place and it's mainly outdoors. Um, at least from what I saw. We'll probably get a little bit of breakfast along the way, get out, make it to the park, and then probably come back to the hotel to try to have lunch at the hotel by eating the leftovers from uh, a couple nights ago. Uh, it's been sitting in our fridge in the hotel. They don't have a microwave in the room, but the front desk was saying that we could use the, uh, the microwave at their restaurant, so. We'll see, she said to ask. Um, I would say that for uh, this hotel, it doesn't really seem to, to communicate with each department. Uh, a great example would be our remote control for the television ran out of batteries last night. So I took it and went downstairs and they told me to go back upstairs and that they would call room service for me, but I was supposed to call room service to get the new batteries rather than just have room service meet me at the front desk to give me batteries or have batteries available somewhere. <laughs> but whatevs. We got the batteries and uh, we were able to turn off the TV. But we are now coming up on Nathan Road, and I'll check in again, probably when we get breakfast. So, uh, back in a moment. So as we're walking to our train station here, it's actually found something cool. There's a cross harbor uh, tunnel. So, you see the tunnel right there. It goes to Hong Kong Island over there. Because we are on the Kowloon side of things, or Sim Sha Sha Sui uh, area. It's pretty neat. Uh, we haven't eaten breakfast yet, but uh, our station is actually straight ahead this way. So uh, after that, it's uh, about an hour's journey to get to the uh, park. So we'll uh, see what happens. Either food or uh, the park first, huh? So more in a moment. So for breakfast, we decided to get some bread from Yamazaki Bakery. So I got uh, a sausage roll, a, a chocolate square, and an egg tart. And Lynn got some sort of pizza looking thing. Pizza ham bread, and then I got um, a ham and roasted mushroom bread and then I got um, they called them mini madelines oh you got a lot but they're like cupcakes and then I got um, a chocolate croissant and a citrus puff wow all right what did you get ham and cheese twists and what are these things are it's oh like it looks like mochi kind of yeah but they're bread right yeah all right. cool all right, and then once we go that way down to the light rail, we will be at the park shortly, hopefully. So, more in a moment. We are currently on the light rail. We just passed through uh, Ginza. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ginza, Hong Kong. And Really, I have no idea where we're at. None of us do. Um, we're in the new territories. All I can really tell you, it's probably been the roughest ride on any rail system that we've been on here. Um, but it's really nice outside. It seems to be a new resort area. Um, and it's interesting.
interesting in the fact that it's just all these sky rises outside if you look just sky rise after sky rise after pure sky rise intro. yeah it's it's as Lynn just put it a pure suburbia I mean they're really trying but you're like an, an hour's ride out of uh, out of Kowloon so you're you're quite far away um, luckily it still uses the octopus card to get on and off uh, we found out that they actually like to get out of the station even though you don't have enough money on it still so Lynn and Andrew just both had a negative values on their cards so they uh, they were able to add some value on their cards before we got on. Um, it's kind of weird. I'm seeing the machines now. It looks like they might accept more than just the 50 and hundreds, but on the screen it says that the machines only accept 50 and hundred dollar bills, which make me wonder: uh, is it increments of 50 and hundred that they accept, or if it's uh, just something they haven't updated on the program side and they accept all bills? There are quite a few bills, so. Uh, but we are almost there to the uh, 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 Hong Kong Wetland Park. We are at the station right before it. Uh, Google Maps tells us to get off here at Tin Sao. Uh, but the next station is Wetland Park, so we're gonna try to ignore uh, Google and go with uh, what our instinct says, and that's to get off at the station called Wetland Park. So we'll uh, see what happens here in a moment. <laughs> Quite a few people here. Let's see how it is. It's uh, 30 Hong Kong dollars to get in. So, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, we'll see uh, how long we last here. It's quite warm. Uh, and everything is, uh, is pretty uncovered, so it looks pretty hot inside. But, uh, huh. They have a audio guide and a portable braille guide. Oh, it just changed. But it said there was an audio guide and a braille guide for free. So. Huh. We'll get more filming once we're inside. Whew. It is warm. So uh, we got our tickets to get into the Hong Kong Wetland Park. And the entrance is actually around here. Uh, but this place is actually quite incredible to begin with. 
Um, this part's free, so you see all these picnickers. Um, you know, people just having a little lunch. Um, it's a lot different than what I imagined it would have been. Lynn's over there geocaching. Andrew's looking for Pokemon up the hill. Oh. I think this security officer is trying to get them to move their, uh, their, uh, their bikes. <laughs> I mean, I think that's what he's saying. I have no idea. I don't speak Cantonese, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll be uh, entering shortly here. Probably go up this hill in a moment as well, or maybe on the way back out, because it looks pretty fantastic. So we've made it outside to the actual wetland area and uh, oh there's a little map of it over here. Check it out. Yep, cool, and then we come back. Sweet. All right. All right. Guess all we have to do is worry about getting eaten alive by uh, bugs out here, because there are bugs out here. Um, and other than that, the weather's actually pretty decent now. It stopped raining. Um, let's go see what's over here in this pool that everybody's checking out. It's probably an alligator or something. Not much, actually. Not much? Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's an alligator in there. Is there anything else? Oh, just a random fish right there. It's like the one that put me in here. And then, yeah. They're all looking at, uh, I believe it's an alligator. Yeah. Is there a sign? Oh. oh yeah, there is an alligator or something in there. Onto the park. If you jumped in there, would they charge you for fishing? <laughs> Thank you. 
side to try to spot um, birds. It's uh, three floors or three stories. Pretty cool. Um, not bad. And they're out there. They actually, I think I caught it earlier. There was a board that actually has all the uh, all the spotted animals and the times that they were spotted. So um, yeah, it, it is possible. And then oh, that city that's out in the distance. That one over there, I don't know if you could actually see it. Right there. That's actually China. Lin looked it up. It's a place called Shenzhen. Um, you know, that's why we didn't recognize any of the buildings. Like, is that Hong Kong? None of the buildings look familiar. No, it's Shenzhen, China. So it's a total different area whatsoever. We're at the northernmost point of Hong Kong. Um, literally, if we cross that border, we'd be in China right there, just the water area, but yeah. All right, uh, on with the tour. So as you saw, we just did the mangrove walk. Um, I think we're a little bit more ha than halfway through the park now. Um, so far, it's worth every penny. It's pretty amazing. Um, I could totally understand why I got four stars. Um, on most sites. <laughs> this dude's doing some macro photography. <sighs> it is very hot though. I think a cold drink would be kind of nice shortly here. But uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens. All right. So we made it to the main part of this wetland park. This is like what they advertise on TV and on and all the travel guides and on the websites. This is literally the scene right here that I see. And this is the reason that I decided to come and bring these two here. So. Oh, there are fishing crab and stuff in the water. I don't know if you could see it in the GoPro because because the GoPro doesn't really pick up this but there's a fish right there and one right there. Can't really see it in the GoPro. <laughs> Can't tell. Oh, fish just jumped. Yeah. So they have these 3D art prints around the park and if you take your photo with it and post it with uh, a hashtag wetland park 3D and then you show it to them you'll get a free uh, cell phone trinket or cell phone uh, keychain so then we show it to them, and there's the, uh, and there's the uh, cell phone charm. Thank you, Mgwai. So there's our souvenir from here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much how that works. So. Yeah, uh, and that's it for our time here at Hong Kong Wetland Park. We are now going to be going back to the hotel and hopefully to get some food. I'm tr hoping that we could warm up the food that we have there and actually eat the food uh, warm because that would be a lot nicer than having to try to eat it cold. So, yeah. Oh, we need silverware too. Damn, okay. But this place has been amazing. It's worth the four stars that most items rank it. And uh, I recommend if you're actually able to get out to this area to actually come here. So, yeah. 
More in a moment. All right. So last thing we're doing tonight, uh, last thing we're doing in Hong Kong, is we're gonna walk over to a place called Champagne Court. And Champagne Court is this area that there's all this like used camera gears and stuff like that. So there's more than that. There's like watches and all sorts of goods. So. We're gonna walk over, see if it's still open. I think it closes at eight and it's like 7.50 right now. So, might do that. And then uh, we'll probably just head on back to start packing up everything and getting ready for bed because we're waking up early tomorrow to make sure that we get to the airport on time. That's uh, probably the most important thing for us here is to <laughs> make sure we get back proper, right? So, check in a moment when we get to uh, Champagne Court. All right, well, we made it, but unfortunately, as you can see, they are closed. Um, it was pretty crazy looking, but everything here is closed. They closed at eight. Um, all the electronics, used cameras, stuff like that. It would have been awesome to see, but whatever, next time. Um, might be another, what, like 16 years before I come back though. Ginza or uh, yeah, Ginza, Japan is probably going to be a more viable area for me to buy a used camera, but it's not like I can afford it right now, anyways. So um, I guess we'll just walk around this area for a little bit before heading on back. Maybe we'll find uh, a snack to eat or something. Um, something cold would kind of be nice. It's still quite warm. So uh, yeah. Check in if we do something. Otherwise, good night. We're just gonna pack everything up and get ready to go back to America tomorrow. So, yeah, Let's see what happens. All right, so we are right down the street from our hotel, and this place has always been cracking every night, right here. As you can see, there's no line right now. We just got lucky, but what we did get are some extremely hot, what, egg waffles or something they're yeah, called? the egg waffle. No, for its deliciousness and, and its crispiness and it all, yes. It smells delicious. It's piping hot because it literally just came off the stove. Uh, you might want to hold it on the top. Lynn's going to go for it. Let's, uh, let's, let's go back to the hotel. But that is it for us. Thank you, Hong Kong. We're going home in the morning. Time to go pack. I am gonna get a, another lemon iced tea before we go at that 7-Eleven. So I will see you guys in the room. Alright man. Oh yeah. It's good? This is amazing. Holy crap. Yeah, it's good. It's delicious. Imagine a bread form of fortune cookie. Uh I might not like it then. All right, I'll try one in a second. I'm gonna go get some iced tea. We're gonna get more of that milk tea. That was delicious. All right. Do you want to? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> huh. Choice. Yeah. Well, you get my iced tea right here. Vita soy, and I'm good to go. Oh, Lynn's gonna get her milk tea. Looks, yeah. Looks different. Yeah, no, that's not it. That's coffee. Where'd it go? No. <laughs> They're out of your tea, or. Wait, wait, wait. What's back there? Oh, no, that wasn't it. Alright, anyhow. We're gonna grab our tea or coffee or whatever Lynn's gonna get and go back to the hotel, pack, charge up some stuff, and that's it. We will see you tomorrow morning. That is so tragic. Maybe. It's pretty awesome. Um, and 
above us. No idea, is that an alligator or something? Let's see, a snake. So, what everybody's looking at. Right there. Yeah, it's breathing. Maybe it is an alligator. We're underneath one. So I have found like the spot to be for a photographer <laughs> for uh, for bird photography. Let's check it out.